We just finished talking about substitution and income effect and how the amount of labor, which we're representing on our horizontal axis here in our supply and demand of labor model, reacts to the change in the real wage. And in a previous video, you saw that this really depends, right? You saw that if the substitution effect is greater than the income effect, then we see that L is going to go up when W goes up. We also saw that if the substitution effect was less than the income effect, labor would go down when the real wage increases. So what we see here is we see sort of a tug of war. What the theory is going to tell us is that at low levels of wage, we will see this upward sloping supply of labor, meaning that if I'm making a low amount of money, as I'm offered more and more money, I'm going to work more and more. However, there might come a point where I'm offered more money and I work less. I start to offer more money, but I actually start to work less hours. This is going to get us what we call our backward bending labor supply curve. So the theory states that there would come a point, if I were to cut this in half, right? There would come a point where we have this upward sloping part where as W goes up, we work more. And then there's this backwards bending part, right? There's this downward sloping part where as W goes up, we actually work less. So here what we see is we see that at low levels of wages, we're going to say the substitution effect dominates the income effect. Whereas at these higher levels of wages, we could see the income effect dominating the substitution effect. When we look at the data, we see this part, this upward sloping part of the supply curve the vast majority of the time, right? That's what we're dealing with where when more and more real wages are, are offered, we see more people jump into the labor market, we see more people willing to supply their labor, we see people working longer. So in our class in 304, we are, and I'm going to make this a little smaller so I can type this out, so I can write this out for you. For this class in 304, we're going to focus mainly on when substitution effect is greater than or it dominates the income effect. So therefore, when the wage goes up, we see L go up. So the functions that you see will have a positive relationship between um, the wage. So we're going to have like the supply of labor as a function of the way real wage. We'll see a positive impact on that. But the theory and the idea behind income and substitution effect and how that would play a role in this backward bending labor supply curve is important for you to know and understand for your quizzes and exams.